Thank you. Perfect. Thank you, guys. So let's go through Kratos. We already went through the disclaimer, so we don't have to do this thing now. So first of all, uh, what I would like to uh, tell you, uh, you can see here from the first day that Kratos started trading in this uh, in this version that we have it right now. Uh, these are the settings that they're default settings when you put Kratos on your trading chart. And the only thing that it is, it's 0 0.01 per thousand dollars. Okay, Let's look at my accounts. Uh, first of all, here is my uh, life account as you see uh really nice growth <clears throat> we are up now 12.09 percent uh, really amazing so and uh, when i do on 12 percent more uh then i'm gonna be at 25 percent and what does that mean for my account is that i will be trading risk-free and like always to be trading risk-free is the most important thing in trading in my opinion uh so as you see here uh we did 1.23 percent this week uh, we are up 4.29 percent this month uh, we are right now on the 18th so we have like 10 7 more trading days so maybe we can like again reach like six around six percent maybe above six percent uh and yeah this was actually it matt it's usually uh, using the default settings uh, 0 0.01 per thousand matt it's using like just the default settings nothing nothing special uh matt, that matt would be using it's default settings uh, here actually you have it like how Kratos trades uh, initial trade first trade at least three conditions has to be met for, from the following okay RSI momentum uh, candlestick pattern and liquidity pool so three things of the four have to be met before Kratos is going to take a trade it scans the market on the M30 time frame and it's looking also of the break of a lower low or a higher high uh, example for a buy so price it's in a liquidity pool that's below fair market price so that means uh, rsi is really low plus momentum change from bearish to bullish there it's a bullish engulfing candle it has to be a bullish engulfing candle but rsi isn't below 30 yet then we will take the trade okay because three conditions were met so this is like really important that you guys all uh, also understand a uh, managing trade if our market moves against us creators won't just open a bunch of trades i got like some uh quite some messages about like when uh, creators is gonna open up another trade on aud cat this week uh and that's like the magic from creators they just doesn't open randomly trades out uh but it's waiting that the market first of all it has to come to the break of market structure and also three conditions has to be confirmed before it's gonna take a trade so that means that we can always be safe while we are uh, trading with traders so we also have like the example here in the uh, in the slides so uh study these examples because these examples always happen in the market so you see here when euro usd went against us a big spike to the upside of 120 pips it did we didn't take a trade but when the market reversed and we had a break a break of structure and the retest then we took the trade and this is like a prime example so this break of structure you have also have to know it doesn't just happen on m30 it has to happen on m30 h1 or h4 okay for creators to take a trade so this is like really really important for you guys to understand that you're not just gonna see trades to see the trades okay uh let's say uh, i'm gonna open up here a trading view and i will uh explain it to you and i really think that we can get a lot more uh profit with this uh setting uh because it trails the take profit so uh trails the profit so let's say in euro usd it's like a nice prime example that we are trading okay i'm gonna go here to m30 and let's say that kratos enter here this is just an example okay so let's say here was the first trade that kratos entered okay here is the first trade kratos entered here so the next thing what we have we have what we can set up for how much profit we go so in the default settings we have what we have 10 pip take profit so you can see here now uh if kratos right now if you have a 10 pip take profit I'm going to do a different color. Uh, we have a 10 pip take profit. We would get out here. So what I mean with that, we mean 
I mean that like we miss out on a lot a lot of profit you can see here that market like went down like 120 pips so what does that mean for us we instead of taking 10 pips maybe we could take 60 70 or 80 pips so that means that our uh reward goes up five times six times seven times eight times okay so what we are doing we were putting in a trailing stop loss so what will trailing stop loss do let's say that we say okay when the market is 10, uh, 15 pips in plus put a trailing stop loss 10 pips into profit so what we did with that now we actually secured our take profit of 10 pips so if the market moves lower we go here the market moves market moves market moves market moves so what that means for every five pips that the market will move you will have an option you will be able to set like how this trailing stop loss work i was like thinking like that okay for every five pips that the market moves more down i move the stop loss for one pip why so i can give uh the market like room to breathe so let's say it goes down 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 market came to here okay market came to down here before the market made a reversal so the market made a reversal here maybe our stop loss would be here but instead of these 10 pips that we took here how much would we take would we take look at this now so we would take around 55 pips so we would take five times the profit that we took because of the 10 pips so this is the next thing that is getting implemented into creators okay? okay here it is so you can see here it's like an extreme example of a market that went like a lot of pips against us so here you can actually see uh one decision unit it's 50 pips so this unit it's 50 pips big this unit it's a 50 pip, uh, 50 pips uh, big every unit it's 50 pips so it's divided into nine units because the market moved oh my god uh, because the market moved actually moved like 450 pips against us uh, here it was the initial lot by 0.01 okay and you can see traders didn't open up any trades here why because the market moved too fast for traders to open up trades and it has like also one of the indicators like inside like how mark how fast the market moves or how it's called i don't know uh, i will <laughs> i will get the name for you but then when the reversal was confir confirmed, you can see here, break of structure. And when the reversal was confirmed here, it was a 0 0.08 lot size buy. And then we got taken out in a little bit of a profit. So, okay. Then we have the position size. Position size, uh, the best one is 0 0.01 per 1,250. The most aggressive that you can go is 0 0.01 per 1,000. Then you have like how many uh, pairs at once you can trade. I suggest to you to trade like two pairs until you get comfortable uh, with traders and everything else. Uh, and then also uh, you have a currency shield. What's it's a currency currency shield? If it opens up a GBP USD trade, it's not going to open up a Euro USD trade if there is a signal on a Euro USD trade. Uh, this is called bulwark. And then we have at the position it's positive. Uh, first trade take profit. So the first take the take profit. You can set it like. Uh, as much pips as you want uh on default is set to 10 pips so i'm also trying like a scalper of five pips i'm running it on all the pairs i will show you also that uh it's working really nice it's winning like most of the trades uh sometimes it just takes a second trade uh, you can also set it to 15 pips 20 pips 30 pips 500 pips like how much actually you want it you can make traders a scalper you can make it a swing trader it's a lot of possibilities once you know how Kratos works, take profit on a scaling pair. So this is again, like some of the things that it's like, how would you set it? So we put it like to four pips because we want to get out as soon as possible uh, when the market reverses. So we, it's like, a, as I say, better be safe than sorry. But again, here you can have option in the market reverses, you can set it to hundred pips if you want, when you're like with both trades, hundred pips in profit, it's going to take you out. You can set it to four pips, you can set it to one pips. So it's like a lot of possibilities. We put onto the default settings, we put the most secure, the safest settings that the creators actually went through uh, when they were like 
doing back tests and everything because we want you at first when a new customer comes in and when we, he uses cradles that he has the best experience so we will be always suggesting the default settings and then there is a spread filter also because we all know in the news the spread like increases so if the spread increases creators will not take any trades okay and there is the equity protector so my thinking here it's like this way uh when people ask me is there actually like a stop loss or something like i have to ask the uh, developers maybe we can do that i don't think that would be hard but like my thinking it's like that i saw my fx books like for on uh, 12 months and i saw with 0 0.01 per thousand dollars the biggest uh drawdown in the last year was around eight percent okay so i'm running also 0 0.01 per thousand so my thinking it's like that okay so if it went 0.08 uh eight percent in drawdown in the last year and if i'm running it aggressive okay i will put my equity protector at 25 percent i'm like willing to risk a little bit more so if something happens in the market the worst case scenario happens i will be taken out with 25 percent a loss i don't want to take a bigger loss uh and because i know that i can do 25 percent back much faster than 30 percent 40 percent 50 percent so i set it to 25 percent this is what i'm willing to lose on my lose uh, on my account and that's it and i can like sleep uh normal so i think it's predetermined like how you should be running uh cradles the only thing what i like to do uh i put here my equity protector i put it to 25 percent and this is like what i'm willing to risk then another uh really important thing since uh, max allowed lot size I will teach you how to set up that also it's going to be in the videos in the uh ap academy we do this okay and now what we do we just press okay we wait a little bit kratos it's on status please wait and now it's just going to start analyzing the market and guys this is the whole setup of kratos it's less than a minute long everybody can do it we're gonna do really good videos so you have like all the explanation but i would like to talk a little bit about the settings so you know what settings are like really important first of all you have the position size uh how much you want to risk so it's like we did it 0 0.01 per thousand to be the most aggressive because the mentality behind kratos of the developers it's like that okay we are not here to hit home runs but we are here to trade for a long time and what we want to do is go from five to seven percent a month but this is doing consistently that profit the next thing what it's really important uh, it's called bulwark this is like actually a currency shield what means a currency shield if you're already in a euro usd trade it's not gonna open up let's say euro cat okay it's not gonna open any other pair that has euro inside so that means that we are gonna be always in the safe side then we have trailing stop loss okay we also have at positions at, after a certain amount of pips uh we have how much pips we want to go for it's the best one was like 10 pips you can do five pips you can do 15 pips you can do a scalper out of traders you can do a swing trader out of traders but at first as i show you just use the default settings